Hey friends, welcome to our homestead. If you are trying to be self-sufficient and live off-grid, you have critical systems on your homestead that need to keep working all the time. And if they fail, they don't really care about your feelings, so you better have a plan. In terms of your preps, you need backups to your backups. You need redundancy. They will go out at any time, in any temperature, in any situation. That's what happened to us the other day. Let me show you what happened. And that is our mini split heat pump went out right before temperatures got extremely cold here. Now we're having a warm day today, but it was 25 the other day and this is my daughter's room. It stopped working through an error code and I could not get it restarted. So I'm really blessed that we did this. And that is put in a wood stove. This thing has saved our rear ends numerous times and it did the other day. Having passive systems like this as backups is super important on your homestead and for your preps. If it wasn't for this, we would have closed off the girl's room and brought them into our room for the evening or here in the living room. And we could have done that, but this thing keeps the entire house warm if need be. So if we are completely out of power, say the solar system completely is down, the grid is totally out, this thing works wonders. I highly recommend getting one. And if you haven't seen our videos on how to install a wood stove, click up here. Before I talk about the repair on this Mr. Cool and the process of going through that, I'm gonna talk about three critical things for your preparedness. And one of these, a lot of people just don't think about at all. Well, the first one I've already mentioned, and that is redundancy. Redundancy in many different systems. Water, electricity, heating, cooking, food production, whatever it might be. Transportation even. We keep around my 21 year old Ford Explorer. Still runs fine, it's got a salvage title on it take the dogs to the vet, but it's there if we need it and it runs perfectly. The second one, of course, is repair parts. You need a lot of different stored up repair parts to be able to fix critical systems in the event that they go down and you are not able to find anybody to help you fix them. If you're on your own, you're far away, away from people and all earthly support is cut off, then you need to know how to do it yourself. And that is the third one, know-how. You need to educate yourself on how to do certain things. Gardening, repair work on all sorts of different types of things. How to fix things is important. And also having the tools to do it also, I guess you could count that as the fourth one, is also incredibly important. Because if you have all the parts, but you don't have the tools to do the repairs, then you're in trouble. Are we gonna be able to stock our brains full of the knowledge on how to fix absolutely everything? No, probably not. Are we gonna be absolutely prepared for every situation? Probably not. And that is where you need to be resourceful. You need to get creative. You need to, as my Marine friends say, improvise, adapt, and overcome. Assess the situation, assess what's broken. If you can fix it, awesome. If not, be resourceful. Connect with a neighbor who knows how to do something. Connect with another neighbor who has a skill you don't have. Offer them something and barter with them. That is a great system to be a part of. And for my Christian friends, preparedness is also very important. Preparedness in your heart and your mind. And that only comes by spending time with God and reading his word. Actually, let me correct that. Studying his word, very important. Okay, let's talk about this thing. Okay, very first thing we did was not call Mr. Cool. Why is that? Because if you read their warranty, you'll notice that it does not cover the technician visit to diagnose the problem. So we have a friend who's an HVAC tech who lives near us. He works for the local school system. He hardly ever works on this, but he has a leak detector and he has the knowledge. He checked the pressures and checked for leaks and he did not find any and the pressures were fine. So he deduced that it was probably the computer board. I had him write out a receipt for me with the findings and then contacted Mr. Cool. And I'm glad I did because that was the only way that I could move forward with them. So that's what you're gonna have to do. There are very, very few techs who actually work on Mr. Cool units. There's only one in my whole region. That's a challenging part about these things. It took me at least a week and a half to do that with communication back and forth with Mr. Cool, their warranty department and their technicians. Finally, it was determined that they are going to cover the board and they sent me a new one. And coming up soon, I'm going to be doing a video on how to replace one of these. It's been a blessing that it's warmed up and I haven't needed to repair this immediately. And on those cold nights since then, I have used the wood stove. If this doesn't work, 
then I'll have to go through the entire process again. So two weeks plus installation time, plus more communication time if this doesn't work. So keep that in mind with critical systems on your homestead. It might take a good amount of time to repair them. So you need that backup. So do I just rely on food that I grow in my greenhouse in the wintertime? Absolutely not. I've got stores of food in the house. In the summertime, do I rely on just my garden, my fruit trees, and what's grown in my greenhouse? No, I also have stores of food that I supplement my meals with at that time as well. Yes, I've got solar. It's still considered a medium-sized system, but I will be expanding it. I'm continually adding to it, and you should continually add to all of your systems on your property. And a couple of years ago, we added this. This is a thousand gallon propane tank. And currently it only serves our stove for cooking, but it's plumbed out for the water heater and the dryer. And of course, if I need to save propane, I'm going to line dry my clothes. And I know what some of you are saying out there. All these things are so expensive. Yeah, they are. That's double the price of what it was when I put it in just a few years back. Now, amazingly, solar prices are actually coming down. And hopefully next year, after the tax credit runs out, there won't be inflated prices. So the price of equipment will continue to drop. But honestly, if you are working, what else are you gonna spend your money on? Should you spend it on things like this? That's up to you. But in my opinion, having backups, redundant systems, and being prepared is incredibly important for me and my family. If it's not for you, that's okay. But I really want you to think about preparedness in your mind, being prepared for the things that come, not only physically, but with know-how and knowledge and backup systems and backup plans. And most importantly for my Christian friends, I want you to be prepared in your heart and mind for seeing your creator when he comes back. If you have any questions about any of our systems on our property or how to install them, how to put them in, feel free to ask me questions in the comment section below. Now go click on this series of videos right here, which shows you exactly how we built that greenhouse by ourselves. Have a beautiful blessed day. See you next time. Bye.